you want. I'm making a DIY gift right now. This old clock that doesn't work that's been sitting in our storage room forever. So I'm going to teach you how to make that look like you bought it. Brand new. We got some Christmassy pups. We got a cat. <laughs> we got some Christmas trees. This big platter of Christmas stuff. And some of this, whatever you call that. Also, if we sneak past our tree. So pointy. Okay, we yeah, have this big bin of stuff. Like all these stuff. Yeah, ribbons, and the camera. We got everything today, so I already started, and I said I went up vlog. So we got one screw out, and now let's get. Right, I'm just gonna get our set up. All right, if you can't tell, the clock is unscrewed. Got all the screws in here. I unscrewed it, so this is just it just right off, so nice and easy for me. You can see this, <clears throat> obviously the clock part. <laughs> and we got our glass layer, which is like really weird. It's like a circle, you know, like it pops out. And then we have our wooden base, which is what in reality all you need um, to decorate. So this is gonna be super, super fun, super, super easy, hopefully. Um, let's go get our supplies. All right, so over here. We still got bags of these. Let's see what we can do with those things. Hi, Ginger. Ginger is just in trouble because she wants all the attention to herself. Uh, sorry, Jen, she won't behave here. You can see you've got quite a bit of things to do. And yeah, I'm probably gonna need to have glue time too. I'm gonna get that out. This is good too. You know, just get creative, honestly. Go crazy, go settle. However, the person you're making this for is, I guess. So, <clears throat> oh, it's good. So, so, I think I'm gonna start off with. Checking out the rib ribbons, see what we have here. That seems like we were gonna add that. We have some guys. All right, with a thousand different other ones. Oh, this is what we want to though. First thing I saw was this super wicky like plaid Christmassy one. And then I saw these ones, which are like on the last thread, so it's actually not going to work out. We also got the classic red and green and the red. So I think these are the ones I'm going to be working with today. So, and maybe this one, this red one, is like chunkier, I guess. So definitely, this is definitely going to be the base, obviously, because we're not going to put ribbon over like pom-poms, because what would be the point of that? Let's see so we're definitely might need like a little bit of a layering technique here. This is not going to be easy, that's for sure. I don't really know how I'm doing this yet at all. So I'm going to have to like angle this up like this. And I then just have to, but then about that point I'll have to get a new piece. So let's just get started. I'm going to cut right here. So like cluttered right now. I don't like it. So this is definitely the side you want up because that's like if you can't tell, this is like see through. This is like you know, like this is the side you should come up <laughs> basically. So I'm going to start just by putting it on the bottom. Oh, that was a big jump, baby. Can't scare me. Here's Ginger. Okay, there's in trouble. No. Nope. Okay, good girl. I'm going to start by putting the bottom. Maybe I'll put it on top. Because then I can like, have 
like that. Oh, I can get like that better. Oh, that's better. Like I have to like hang over all that. Hmm. All right, so definitely need to cut right here. Oh, that's hard to cut. And then we need to cut right here. Oh, out of breath. I'm cracked. All right, now that's just about right. It's a little bit off. Then we can have this like go like uh all right maybe the plan won't work out you know this is hard honestly guys what if we wrapped it around that would be cool too give that like naughty like look what you guys think all right once i decide i'll be out of this honestly so we're staying outside but it did cover almost even half which i think looks actually pretty good so and so now we are going to go in with the red and green look I think just all the way across and then we'll add in the details I can see this is just layered around I didn't even need to hot glue it just like in the back there's a few pieces of tape obviously the clock's gonna be like this so nobody's gonna really notice and I'm gonna layer over this piece by the way so yeah let's get started Alright, so I just finished making this, and I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's way too crazy, but you know, that's my family. We've got some of these cool pom-poms on the side, dad with the girl, and these things over there to cover up some of the tape, and the plaid, and the red. I honestly think it looks really good, not gonna lie. So it's obviously all right. So yeah, we're gonna get that clock set up, because like I said, it needs new batteries. So it's the perfect time to do it, except now, while we're driving. Well, Ginger's been having... A blast in the snow. Hold on. Maybe oh. 10 to 20 minutes for this for me. So I quickly, like, really quickly need to put this all away and get this all wrapped up. So I'm going to go find out the battery system needs. I think this is uh, definitely in a rush now. You know, that's my life. What is this thing doing? Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. And I will see you guys later. Oh, and don't forget to stay tuned for the grand reveal of my dad opening his present that we made today. Alright, see you later. Shh, bye, don't tell him what we got for him. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, <laughs> three, two, one. Merry Christmas. Ba 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 